Cornelius, Cornelius, kom, Cornelius, du er godt, hvor er du dygtig, det er så godt du kommer og kalder, ja, det er så dejligt, så dejligt. Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimba Bushcraft. Today I'm in my black forest. Wonderful weather, no clouds in the sky and yeah, the sun is shining. I'm together with Cornelius and uh, yeah, I'm going to make a video about my Viking belt kit. I made a couple uh, of those before but uh, it's some years ago and I added some new stuff to this belt, belt kit. So I hope you will find that interesting. I got a new pouch, of course a new CX, and uh, yeah, this uh, X, the head is the same, but the handle is different. And then some other stuff, uh, mostly inside my pouch, so yeah. But I also have some uh, delicious food I will prepare out here, a Viking stew again, but with a little twist, hope you like that. And uh, yeah, I think I'll make the stew first, then show you my gear, and later on have my coffee. I think that's a good plan. Hope you like it. Yeah, and then this stew, I have some onion. Yeah, and I uh, actually prefer big uh, pieces of, of onion. Like this. Yeah and some garlic. Yeah, and I cut myself again. <laughs> oh, well, it's been a while since I did that, but it is my CX, it is so sharp. I only, it only touched the hand and then it cut me, not deep, so no worries. But um, that's why I have a bandage on. And the other one, like this. Yeah, 
yeah. This is fine. Over here. And then this. I guess you can buy this all over the world, but it is red cabbage. Um, I use it a lot, especially during uh, Christmas holidays. We cook it and have it together with a, a pig roast. And again, cabbage is very healthy. Um, so the Viking ate a lot of that so they could stay healthy. And uh, yeah, I don't think I need it all. So out for the animals if they like that. And uh, then the leftovers from uh, when was I was with Martin. We had a sandwich, bacon sandwich. Uh, smoked bacon and uh, some of you have asked me uh, what the oven is. The smoke oven. I make my eye. And uh, go into Martin's uh, Instagram page and I'm sure you find the information there. I'm not sure what it's called, what name it is, but it's a cool little thing. Perhaps I have some thing like that for my bushcraft trips. Yeah, so now it is finished. Uh, the twist is, you can see that later, uh, what extra I put in this stove. But for now, uh, bacon, cabbage and uh, Onions, yeah. Now I light, light my fire so I can begin cooking this. First I'll put some butter in to fry the bacon. Like this. Then the bacon in. the onions in. Okay. I 
sorry you can't smell it but it's really a delicious smell that comes off of this pot. And then the, the cabbage. Yeah. I think this is enough. And then the little twists a beer. I'm going to uh, cook it in beer. Oh yeah. I'm sure this will be a very delicious stew. And then it was cook, I think for a half an hour, so. Here's a little trick. You make you have some butter. And then you mix it with some flour. After a while you have such one, a little ball of uh, butter and flour, and then you just come it in the stew, then the uh, water will thicken and it will be a gravy. Yeah, I think it's finished, so I'll pour some up here. So this is my food for today, a Viking stew. You can see it's very dark, uh, the red cabbage uh, gives it a lot of color, almost red here. And also the beer, it was a brown beer, so we had a color, so we had color too. So now I'm going to eat this. And Cornelius is not eating this. <laughs> you put your foot in your water. I made him a sandwich from back home with rye bread and something we call liver pustai. That is almost the same as uh, liver pate. And his, it is his favorite meal. So, and he ate it in a couple of seconds. 
It was good, Cornelius, wasn't it? You got it? Yeah. Or perhaps a little bit of... A little piece of... Um, oh, it's hot. You'll wait. Piece of uh, bacon. Mm. No onions. eat it all because you have to make coffee in this part too. That's fine. What do you want? Watch. Yeah, this was a delicious meal again, and uh, I hope you like it too. Now I'm going to lay my bell kit up on my uh, reindeer fur and tell you about that, the thoughts behind uh, why I have put it together like this. So, yeah, hope you enjoy that too. So, yeah, this is my uh, Viking bushcraft bell kit. Uh, first, I have this belt that I bought from Grimfrost. I put this on. You can see here some uh, brass and it's the same on my pouch here. So um, these two things are identical almost. Then I have uh, my, um, my little knife here. It's a Yakut knife. You can see how special it is. I talked about uh, this kind of knife in a previous video, but uh, this is something that uh, they made in Russia and uh, used for many, many years, and I guess they could be using that method in the Viking Age. Uh, I put a little, I made a little sheet for it, so I have had it around my neck, but now I have it in my belt. Uh, it's more practical that way. A sharp knife, and uh, I'll put a link to the knife maker that makes these knives. Then I have my CX. And of course it has special meaning for me because it's a CX that I created myself. Uh, CX or Sax is a knife they used in the Viking Age. And you can see here and the sheet. And uh, look at this. The blade is, is uh, turning upside down. The sharp end is pointing up and you wear it in your belt uh, like the Vikings did. So I put a link to this uh, knife maker who makes this uh, bearded pig forge, forge in, uh, in England and he sells them uh, for a good price. Then I have my little axe and as I said in the beginning the head, it is a head I bought on the Viking market uh, some years ago and uh, on my previous build, Viking belt kit I had the same head but a different handle. So I made another handle, a new handle, and I think this is more Viking style. And it has a good grip. I can use it for chopping small woods and so on, as you saw when I prepared my fire. And uh, I made a little sheet for it as well. Just a simple one. I don't know if the Viking would have made this. But uh, I think it looks cool. Uh, then I have this in the middle, and it's something I bought up in uh, in uh, Lapland, uh, the northern part of Norway, Sweden, and Finland. And it's uh, actually a, 
a sewing kit in here. You can have all kind of stuff. I have some needles and some threads and even a little ferro rod because I use this also on my bushcraft trip. So, and with this in here, yeah, you can wear it around your belts. And then this one, my little pouch, I made myself. And uh, yeah, I made a video. If you look in my other YouTube channel, DIY Kimber, you'll see a video where I make this. And in here, I have all kinds of stuff. I think I bring you a little bit closer. In here, there's a lot of stuff. Um, something I, I'm sure the Vikings had when they, when they were trading with other people. I made some coins here that looks like old coins. In the Viking age, I guess this was silver. And I also have something called uh, cut silver. They could bring with them and then they could cut a little bit off uh, for the uh, payment for a certain uh, thing they bought. So this is not silver but uh, uh, aluminium, but it looks like silver. And then I have some amber, lots of amber. That was very popular in the Viking Age in other countries. So they could trade amber for other stuff. And uh, you can find amber on the beaches here in Denmark. Uh, sometimes if you're lucky you can see or find a piece of amber. Then I have some uh, pearls, all kind of pearls, glass pearls uh, that the uh, Vikings also made and uh, for trading. And these are, some of these are bought at Grimfrost. They have a lot of these pearls you can use for necklace and so on. And uh, I think this is bone. Yeah. So this is my little trading pouch uh, that I bring with me if I should uh, stop a place where they had something to buy, then I could use this uh, for payments. A very simple little pouch, easy to make. And um, as I said before, I have a little video that shows how you make this little pouch. And then for my big bag or pouch, um, these are from Grimfrost. I made this pouch myself uh, from leather and uh, in the old fashioned way, old school. Uh, these are silver I put on and in here I had a lot of stuff. Uh, I would again like to come a little bit closer, you can see what it is. Yeah, you can see on the back. I made two belt loops. I like to have it like that. Some of the Viking pouches or bags are with one belt loop, but I prefer to... Yeah, and in here. Yeah, and first of all I have my little fire kit that I use when I make fire. It not always I uh, show it in my videos, but yeah. You've all seen that a lot of times. I have some flint and a piece of steel that I can use to create sparks that goes into the Amadou. And this is Amadou. I recently made a video where I show you how you can uh, make this Amadou for yourself. And uh, yeah, later on I have a little thing in this one. I can show you. I have a little piece of char cloth. Uh, very nice too. And some uh, resin from pine trees. This is good fire starter. And I have it in this little brass container that I bought many years ago. So my fire starting kit. And in here I have my hygiene kit. A little thing that uh, a replicate of the findings. Uh, it's actually for cleaning your ears up here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a spoon, so you can put it in your ear and uh, take out the earwax. I think it's very nice. Yeah, and in here a little pie I can use for removing ticks. And on the other side I made a, a little place for a comb. 
that I bought, but since then I bought a, another comb from Grimforst. Yeah, I long been waiting for getting this. I think it's so cool. And uh, yeah, of course, I only have a little bit beer that I can use this comb for. Uh, <laughs> no head. No hair on my head, but I can also use it for Cornelius. He got a lot of hair. And it's made of bone, and also uh, a replicate for the finding, I think, from Birke. I'm not sure, but I like this little comb. And here, I have a little sharpening stone, a nature stone, that I use uh, for sharpening my uh, knife and axes. And I uh, made this little pouch for it, like this. And then I have this, in Denmark we call this a fibula. And it's for uh, putting, if you have your clock uh, cape on, you can use this for putting it together, holding it. And uh, other kind of fabrics, uh, clothes you have, you can use this for holding it together. And uh, this is made from... Uh, Brass, I think, and it's the same guy that makes my CX bearded pig force uh, that make these. And what else? A little knife. Uh, they call it a women knife. Uh, and I can use this for a small task, also when I'm sewing and so on, to cut the thread. And uh, again, something I got from Grimfrost. And when we're talking about sewing, I have my little sewing kit. Uh, the thread here is uh, waxed uh, linen. And in here, I have some needles. I have a bone needle, a large one here. I can use and a little one in, uh, in iron. So this is my little sewing kit. And together with, my, uh, with this one, And together with this one, I have a little uh, more uh, fine sewing thread in this. Uh, this is for more heavy duty. Some uh, birch bark for making fire. And uh, in this one, I have a little fishing kit, like this. Some little uh, thread, a little cordage and uh, a little hook I made myself from iron. So this is my little primitive fishing kit that I can use if I'm feeling hungry and uh, I near some stream, some water where I can fish. And uh, the last two things I have is actually my first aid kit or yeah, I'll tell you about it. In this one I have some Balm, it is bee wax and uh, resin and a little bit of oil in. And this is very good if you have uh, dry hands and so on, you can use it. And in here, and uh, look at this, I actually bought this many years ago up in Norway. And in here there was some um, powder from deer antler and they said it was uh, good for uh, men, uh, for tents. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, this little figure is actually Fry, the god for fertility, fertility. so um, yeah, but I'm not having any powder in here from Antler, but I have some Chaga, Chaga powder, and Chaga is a wonderful uh, thing, it's from a fungus called Chaga, and uh, there are so many uh, good properties in uh, chaga. Uh, chaga is an uh, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties. And uh, it's good for uh, arthritis and uh, high blood pressure. So, and if you have something with your stomach, uh, some illness, this is good too. And they also say that it can kill cancer cells. But uh, yeah, and something I could add to my belt kit is this, a little cup. Uh, you can put on your belt kit because if you're 
going out on a hike and you came to a stream, you can use this for drinking. This is it. This is my uh, little Viking bushcraft belt kit. I'll show it all and uh, yeah. And I hope you find this interesting, uh, my little belt kit. Now I think it's time for some coffee. I cleaned my pot with some water. And I think it's okay now. Good strong coffee. And a little bit of salt in to remove the bitterness from the cooking coffee. Perhaps my little my little snake here, a serpent. I think I have some beer left. It's almost cooking. Yeah, my iron fireball together with Kuni join us on the Kickstarter project so this can be a reality.
yeah folks this is all for now i hope you enjoyed this little video from my black forest and uh, where i showed my upgrade on my viking bushcraft belt kit uh, perhaps you got an idea or two for your own belt kit nevertheless i'm glad you joined me out here and uh, yeah on this wonderful day thank you for watching kimber bushcraft hope to see you again on the next one Bye-bye and take care.